Welcome to your journey towards a healthier, stronger you. Get ready to sweat, push your limits, and transform your body with our dynamic fitness video. In this video, I'll delve into answering this question. So make sure to stick around till the end. It's going to be intriguing. Let's go. Jumping rope is a great fat-burning cardio option for those who don't have any time to go for a run. The jump rope has a lot of advantages and it is suitable for people of any level of physical fitness. The jump rope is one of the few sports equipment available to every person. It can be purchased at the nearest store and start exercising at home, in the park, and so on. Let's look at the main benefits of jumping rope. First, strengthening bones. Jumping rope is an exercise that gives a vertical load on the musculoskeletal system, the spine, and legs. This improves bone health. Good bone density may reduce the chance of developing osteoporosis later in life. Second, burning extra kilocalories. In one minute of jumping, from 12 to 20 kilocalories are burned, depending on the weight and endurance of the athlete and the speed of the jumps. For each person, the amount of spent energy is calculated individually, so it is better to focus on the average value of 900 kilocalories per one hour of training. As you gain experience, you can increase the energy intensity of your workout by adding complex variations of jumps and additional exercises. Third, injury prevention. The stronger the bones, the harder they are to break. The more body weight exercises you do in your lifetime, the less likely you are to develop osteoporosis and break bones as a result of falls. Jumping rope can prevent ankle injuries as it is one of the most stressed points when jumping. Due to the fact that jumping rope makes the ligaments, tendons, and muscles of the ankle work non-stop, they are strengthened and less prone to injury in the future. For the same reason, jumping rope is recommended for athletes who are regaining shape after injuries or breaks. Fourth, improving the work of the cardiovascular system. Jumping rope is a great cardio workout. You can increase your jumping speed and frequency by turning this exercise into an intense workout. The heart rate can rise higher than when jogging or cycling while reducing the training time, and you will not harm yourself, but only strengthen the heart. Fifth, improved coordination and balance. Coordination is the key to success in jumping rope. This exercise requires you to concentrate, which improves the balance and perception of the body. For this reason, the jump rope is a basic exercise for boxers. Sixth, Development of the calf muscles. Jump rope in the repulsion and landing phases actively engage the calf muscles. Regular exercise will allow you to emphasize the calves as well as work out the surrounding tendons and fascia. Seventh, variation in workouts. If you have mastered the standard jump rope, you can try more complex variations. You can also buy a heavier jump rope. It will require more intensive work and increase calorie consumption. Moreover, jumping with a heavy rope improves endurance. Eighth, availability. A jump rope is one of the simplest and most inexpensive sports equipment. In addition, it takes up little space, and you can always take it with you on a business trip or vacation. You don't need a gym or a treadmill to jump. Just find a little space. What muscles does jump rope work? With any jump, the main muscle groups of the legs are involved. Calf, quadriceps, and hamstrings. They receive the maximum load during training, which allows you to create a beautiful shape for your legs. Additionally, the muscles of the buttocks, abs, and back are involved in the work. A small load falls on the biceps, forearms, and muscles of the hands due to the active work of the hands when scrolling the rope. How to jump rope correctly. Starting position. Legs together, the core is straightened, arms are along the body, hands hold the handles. The gaze is directed in front of you. Shoulders are straightened and lowered. There is no need to strain your hands. You need to scroll the rope and jump up one to two centimeters from the ground. When the rope is rotated, only the hands and a little bit forearm work. The shoulders themselves are not involved. During the jump, the legs should be tense. When landing, bend your knees slightly, landing on your toes with a soft, springy motion. Sharing your experiences makes for an exciting read. Also, don't forget to explore more videos on my channel. Links are right on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it, hit the like button, and subscribe. Catch you soon.